Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have discussed about date and time functions. In our today's session, we will be discussing about how sum, sum if, and sum x works. How count, count if, and count ifs work. So if you want to find out the sum of something using if condition, or if you want to find the count of something using if condition. For example, I want to find the sum of amount, but when the category is bills or the category is clothes then how do i find it we will be finding that out in this video so let's get started guys first of all let's talk about count okay i'll be using count over here we have count if and we have count ifs okay so let's discuss all of them one by one first of all let's talk about count equal to count count will allow us to count the values that how many total values are here in this table as soon as i press enter it would give me 22 not just table suppose if i have a range as well i if i have written 45 67 78 34 5 and if i write equal to count of if i open the brackets put these values close it and press enter it would tell me there are four values over here but what if what if what if what if if i write equal to count of okay equal to count of category in that case it gives me zero why it is there it is because uh, the count will find out the count of rows which contains the numeric value but if you want to find the count of rows which contains text values in that case instead of count you will be using count a okay so i'll just write it again equal to count a and choose the category close it and press enter obviously it will be 22 because they both belong to the same table and there are no null values so here we have 22 count if let's see how count if works see equal to count if let's see the formula first of all it's asking for the range the range is this i need to count if the i want to see how many expenses are there which are greater than 1000 okay so for that i'll be giving the criteria that the value should be greater than equal to 1000 okay let's close and press enter so only five values are there which are greater than 1000 and if you'll check the data as well only five values are there which are greater than and equal to 1000 and all those fives are here i, I guess yeah 1600 16000 1890 1000 and 1500 this is how count if works now let's see count ifs count ifs is equals to count ifs first of all it's not asking for range over here it's asking for criteria range so what should be my criteria i want that category should be equals to food but in the food i want capital f okay what should be your next criteria that in food also i want to count how many of my expenses are on zomato okay how many times i have ordered food from zomato i know you will say you can directly write zomato there instead of doing it but i also want to show you that there can be multiple criteria that we can provide over here or let's say i want to check food but uh, all the food uh, count of food payments from upi okay makes sense count of food payments using upi so second thing would be the criteria first is criteria range the second thing would be the criteria that is equal to food okay the third would be again the another criteria range that would be our payment mode okay now the payment mode what will be the criteria for the payment mode that it should be upi okay let's press enter and it would tell us that only three payments are made from upi for food okay for food there must be different count but when it comes to food and upi this is what the count is so you can provide as many criteria as you want in the count ifs similarly we have some some if and some ifs okay some first of all equal to some what do you find what do you want to find the sum of some of this whole range and similarly it would work on some of a array as well array is nothing but this range would be called as array a sum of these values okay let's press enter and it would be 225 similarly this is how we can find the sum let's talk about sum if okay let's see how sum if would work for sum if i'll be writing equal to sum if 
okay it it's asking me for a range so this is my range okay because i want to find the sum of this range okay obviously okay it's asking for criteria now what should be the criteria in this range itself it's not asking for the criteria of other range but in this range itself i want to find the sum of all the amounts that are above 1000 so for that we will be writing greater than equal to 1000 let's close it and the sum of these values if i drag them you can see at the bottom the values are 21990 count is 5 and the average value is also provided over here similarly we have the sum of these values as well okay similarly if i talk about sum ifs now sum ifs will help us to find the sum if the category is bill okay so it's asking for sum range obviously the amount would be our sum range the criteria range would be our category second the criteria would be that it should be four let's see how much we have uh, how much we have spend it on food and if i press enter it's 2035 on food okay similarly you can check for bills clothes essentials and groceries as well okay so this is how sum ifs will work i hope after this session you, it is clear that how we can use count count if count ifs some sum ifs sum ifs and similarly we also have average average if and average ifs So just like how we have found out the count, count if, count ifs, and some sum ifs, sum ifs. Similarly, I would like you all to try it by yourself that how you can find the average, average if, and average ifs. In our next session, we will be discussing about more functions that are used in Excel, which would be the lookup function or a VLOOKUP function. So stay connected, guys, and I'll see you in the next session.